the stairs here. What are you looking at? I will be suing uh, 15 million dollars. You blew up both my kneecaps. Hell yeah. Today I'm using the bar 1866 to go pigeon hunting or rabbit hunting, whichever one I choose to do. And we're gonna give this a true test. Catch and cook, baby. Here we go. I'm gonna try and uh, unbox this, you know, without wrecking anything because you know, this is called the make the video the return, return policy. Is uh, I actually make the video and then return it to get my money back so then we can make more videos. It actually supports the channel. That's the way my Uncle Darren was his thinking. Sheesh! Another very, very cool looking, look at that thing, dude. Very old school. Sheesh! I'm not returning this one, dude. Bolt action, lever action, shiny gold. It's another one that holds like a unlimited BBs. I'd like to take this off. Holy dick, dude. This thing is way better than I thought it was going to be. Wow, this feels expensive. It's heavy. It's, it's like solid metal all the way through. That is a beautiful... This looks like a cowboy kind of deal, dude. Just, wow. Shout out to whoever told me to make this video, man. Like, this is the most expensive feeling. So this is standard. It says pump one to 10 times. Uh, do not do what I did there uh, with the old looking down the gun barrel. Not funny. Uh, yeah, don't flag me or report me. I've seen worse. We're taped today, tape debate. What a beautiful guy right there. Oh, wait, I'm not allowed to say the G word. That gets us flagged and taken off of YouTube. What a beautiful rifle. This thing probably only holds about 50 BBs. Does not go in the whole stock, which I have seen uh, in the 760 Pump Master Classic, I believe. Loads up very nicely. Pump it one to 10 times, standard 10. Really like how this thing holds. I'm not sure how you get the safety off. Very accurate. Somewhere around there it hit, but I seen it did. So we should set up a can or something. You know, just just make sure the stock iron sights are on par, and then we're gonna go shoot a pigeon. From the goal is actually, I am to snipe a pigeon from the top of that rate. Oh hell! There. That is the goal today. To, if I can hunt from the top of there and snipe a pigeon, that would make me happy and make the film pretty cool. With the stock iron sights, you know, I'm gonna check if we, if we can't hit that propel. If I hit the propel, I'll go right to hunting. Otherwise, I may have to adjust this thing here. But this thing is very awesome. Red is dead. You know, you pull this back, you're in mode to fire. Put that forward, safety's on. So I pull it back. I don't like, this thing holds a little different. Score. It hit it and reflected away. It did not go through it because how round it is and hard, solid plastic right there. But it did work. Successful air rifle right here, dude. I like this one. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little nervous on how I'm gonna bring this up to the very top of the silo. Uh, I don't know if you've seen my last video, but uh, I'm not a fan of heights. This is so high! I peed on my foot! Oh yeah. I don't know why I signed up for this. It's like a big tree stand if you think about it. until your heart starts pumping. When you get your adrenaline rush, holy dick, it's scary. Whew. 
I don't like how half these steps shake. <laughs> My <laughs> is stuck. Oh, hell no. That's a little scary. I ain't gonna lie. Definitely scary when you get to the top and it starts shaking on you. I forgot to bring extra GoPro batteries. I'm stressed. I'm gonna get used to this. Oh, I hope. I'm not sure how I'm gonna bring this rifle down. <laughs> Oh God, I'm nervous. But uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna bring this down because uh, it was on my back. This is the top one that I have to deal with. Shakes like a b Very scary, that one. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing any pigeons, you know, so <clears throat> I might go to my Aunt Darren's and try and uh, shoot a rabbit, but definitely, not seeing any pigeons. They probably see me up here, you know. But I would like to uh, hunt deer. Hunt deer this season from up here. I could shoot pretty much anywhere if I was, you know, deer hunting. Look at them deer, three right there. Beautiful. One white deer, three black deer. So there's four deer. Oh wait, there's another one over there, there's five. But yeah, unfortunately, no pigeons. Peace. I'm a bit lost on this part. Rifle underneath the staircase without it, you know, absolutely obliterating my sights. So this one will be interesting. Very loose structure right here. This is the worst part of it. Just like that. But I wish it would stay. Because I'm taped. Ooh, or as Kenneth would say, he has the saltiest little ear canals. Nothing less than the saltiest little ear canal day later. And now I'm going to try and hunt a rabbit later on. But it's almost 100 degrees here in Minnesota, and muggy as can be. Ooh, Darren, you're looking really fine today. <laughs> really fine. You're looking at Jerry. I must say, really you fine. He just died and flew up there. You poop on my car, and then you die, and then you fly away up in the rafters, yeah? Wait till I get you at my Bugatti. I hope he's dead, otherwise I will get attacked. Catch and cook, baby. Catch and cook. Unreal. There you have it, fellas. Andrew Tate here, and I'm gonna get my Bugatti. But there you have it, pigeon catch and cook right there. Not gonna be cooking them up tonight as I got an 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. What a beautiful catch and cook as they keep pooping on everything of mine. Look at that right there on the, on the four-wheeler, almost on the helmet. This is on the highway to getting my Bugatti. Andrew Tate, I'm gonna give you a little Tate speech soon enough. We're gonna be at 1,000 subscribers, and I'm gonna get a boatload of money, $1 a month, yo, you already know what's up. 
But that is the 866 right there. Beautiful, beautiful rifle. Uh, the accuracy is great. If you're not in low lighting as I was in the barn right there, you know, looking around for Andrew Titan as boy. Kidding. That was a joke. Don't, don't uh, decline my visa as I'd like to make some casinos with Tate one day. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, comment down below, and we will come at you with some more Jonathan Snaz footage. It is hot outside. I haven't posted in 14 days as of today. It's uh, muggy and hot in Minnesota. I cannot stand it. I like working at my Walmart job in the uh, 20 degree freezers. But as of then, but, but until then, until my one million following, which is coming up shortly, you bet, and my Bugatti, I will see you on the other side while I go kickboxing. I'm gonna jo join some kickboxing, become world champion, and get a Bugatti in my supercar. Also, I have, uh, not them on me, but I have, uh, Jonathan Snares business cards, they're very cheesy, and they were quick to make. Uh, message me on like Snapchat, it is in the about section of YouTube, or Instagram or Facebook, you can reach out, Jonathan Snares on Facebook, and I'll send you some of those, so you can hand them out to your friends. Uh, for free, obviously, I'll be giving away a whole bunch of uh, my business cards. Until then, I will get my Bugatti. I'm keeping it on the low, it's night time, you know, but... Chicho. I found my business card, yeah. But, I got to thinking... What if my grandma got ate by an antelope? Then I remembered I didn't like my grandma. <laughs> <laughs>